Hi everyone, so I'm standing inside my garage right now and I wanted to start this video out with showing you what the Monacan moms have been up to this weekend. So right here, all the gifts. We had a family that we decided that we were going to help bring Christmas and the light of Christ to them. And this weekend, on Saturday and Sunday, all of these wonderful Monacan moms delivered all of this amazing stuff. So we have things here like art supplies, art tablets, Hunger Game books, uh, PlayStation gift cards, gift card center gift cards, skateboards, remote control cars, roller skates, Barbie dream house, troll movie toys, gas cards, grocery cards, footlocker cards, and anything else you can imagine. Look at all this stuff. Look how generous and this beautiful basket filled with chocolates and hot chocolate and just things that just scream the, the season and just feel good after a snowy day coming inside eating hot cocoa. And look at this amazing bike. Look at this. I am so blessed to be part of such a beautiful organization that is just bringing Christ to everybody, and thank you to all you wonderful Monacan moms out there. This is awesome. Hi everyone, happy day 84. Today being Monday, it's time to take out our weekly evaluations and ask ourselves the four questions. One, did my plan work for me? Two, what needs to be adjusted? Three, how do I feel? And four, a positive from the week. For me, one, yes, my plan worked for me. Two, nothing needs to be adjusted. Three, I feel great. And four, a positive from the week would have to be collecting the presents this past Saturday and Sunday for the Monica and Mom's Christmas family. It was not only a wonderful thing to be part of, but it also gave me an opportunity to talk for a minute with some of the ladies. Most of them I know, but there are a few that I don't know well. It was so nice to chat with them and get to know each one of them a little more. All of the ladies are beautiful people with such big hearts. Today, another member and I had the honor of delivering the presents to the family. What a gift to share God's love with others. It doesn't get much better than that. Thank you to all of you out there that helped in bringing Christmas to this local family in need. This week, my boys are home for Christmas break. So it was harder than normal for me to get out the door to make it to church this morning. I ended up getting there a few minutes late and walking in during the second decade of the rosary. After we finished, I stayed on my knees and said two more decades to make sure I got the whole rosary in. I need all the help I can get. Every day at mass, I bring with me a notebook and pencil to take notes during Father's homily. Like I've told you before, I take these notes along with other notes I take from the daily devotionals and use them to write in my own words what I'm going to say to you each day. This morning, I sat there on the edge of my pew with my pencil in hand waiting for some inspirational words from Father to write down. And all he said was just one simple sentence. At first, I was kind of annoyed but the more I thought about what he said, the more I realized that there was nothing else to be said. He had said it all. So today I am going to follow his lead and leave you with the angel Gabriel's simple but profound words. He said, for nothing will be impossible for God. I hope all of you have a blessed day 84. Please know that I am praying for you always and I will see you tomorrow.